Hello and welcome to the London Car Alarm Company. Today we've just done another Rolls-Royce Cullinan 2022 with, as you can see, 189 miles on the clock. Customer's super paranoid about these keys. So if someone was to grab this key, start the vehicle up. As soon as I start the vehicle up, if you watch, if you watch carefully, as soon as I select a gear, vehicle cuts out. Okay, so every time the customer jumps in the vehicle, really, really straightforward. As I said, we've just done a test on this. You might see it flicker on the first attempt. So now if I put my foot on the brake, see it's just flickered, so let's just start it normally. Vehicle starts. We're gonna insert a code on here. We've done something very, very basic, just for video purposes. So one, two, three. There you go, that melody, select a gear, and drive away. Really, really simple, really, really straightforward. Okay. If the customer wants to change the code, this is also very, very simple. And the way you would do that is tap the start button three times on this particular vehicle because I haven't got my foot on the brake. So tap, tap, tap. Ignition is on. Insert the original code. So one, two, three. Receive our melody. Then hit one of the buttons on the network five times. One, two, three, four, five. Cycle the start button off and then tap, tap, tap three times to get the main ignition on. And we get five bleeps. So now I'm just going to do a button stiff. I'm just going to see what buttons work on the network. So that one works, that one works, that one doesn't work, that one works, that one works, that one works. Oh, so quite a few. So now it's going to give us a, a dab dab to tell us this is the code it's accepting. But I have no idea what the code is, so I'm just going to put this in for now. We're going to hear a grunt. So there you go, What's it, what it's actually doing is confirming that the first push sequence is different to the second. So let's just, just put a push sequence in now just for temporary purposes so the customer can change it when he comes back. So, wait for a double bleep. There you go, and just confirm that code again. Also, I'm just gonna show you how to put it in valley mode, uh, but generally we pair it to a tag or we pair it to a phone. You don't have to go through a push sequence. There you go, double bleep. Code is now learnt. Okay, so let's just test it now. So customer jumps in, obviously start it up normally. Starts up normally. There you go, we heard a disarm because we left it less than 10 seconds. So if we leave it more than 10 seconds, we'll see that the system will be armed and we'll get no audible disarm melody. I think that should be about 10 seconds now. But what we're going to do on this particular one, we're actually going to pair it to a Bluetooth tag. Customer doesn't really want to do the push sequence, so I'm going to pair it to a tag. Okay, so let's just start the vehicle now. There you go, no melody. If I was to select a gear, it would stall. So tap in the code. Wait for the melody. System's disarmed. Select a gear. You notice we're actually in drive now. I don't know if you can see it with the sun. You can drive it away. Okay. Also, if the customer wants to place it in valley mode without the tag or without using the smartphone, he can do it this way. I'm allowing it to set. So without my foot on the brake, tap, tap, tap. Main ignition on, insert the code. Wait for the disarm melody. It means we've passed authorization. So hit one of the buttons on the network 11 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Turn the start button off, pause, and then back on. Two bleeps, now in valley mode. As you can see, if I leave it 10 seconds now, I will be able to start it and select a gear. I think that should be about 10 seconds. Start the vehicle up, as you see, I'm gonna select a gear. It's gone into drive. Okay, it's now in valley mode. When the customer gets the vehicle back from the car wash or his service, all he does is again, tap, tap, tap to get the ignition on because he hasn't got his foot on the brake. And then just put the code in. Two bleeps out of valley mode. So you'll see within 10 seconds, if I start it and select a gear, you'll see the vehicle will stall so we know the system is active and protecting the vehicle when I leave. Okay. No melody, select a gear. There you go, system disarms, okay? Really clever, really, really straightforward. As I said, this is the Rolls-Royce Cullinan, I think they pronounce it. My name's Otto, company's called London Car Alarm Company. We fitted the Starline i96 Pro on this. If you want to give me a call, 028906 0478. 028906 0478. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.